Okay. This is what used to be Myrtle's Mater Garden. Now it's Willis's Winter Fair. Oh, and this is my broccoli that I just picked from one of those big ones over on the other side. Now, we have collards here, and they're just Georgia Southern collards. Um, I have one, two, three, four rows there. And then I just kind of, you'll see like barrage here and there. Um, I started them and there was a lot of little sprouts and I just thinned them out and plugged in the holes. So see like this uh, blank section back there, um, I plugged those in. Now, since these are already at this stage, I went ahead and added two new rows of collards in between the two um, rows here and then another new row right there because I figure by the time those are ready these will be sprouting and then I have some basil along the edge now this uh, section I have broccoli um, in this row and then straight down the middle I did some radishes and that right there chicken tracks mm -hmm. and I know exactly which lady it was so I have two rows of broccoli here um, I don't know I've uh, only grown the broccoli in the raised bed so I'm excited to see how it does just um, directly in the ground and right here I have a row of cabbage I'll put it in the description what variety it is and then two rows of radishes on either side and I figured the radishes like I said before they only take about three weeks so they'll be done by the time these this cabbage gets big enough and the cabbage will take up this whole spot, um, area okay now this end here we have more cabbage um, and beets and this is Oh, Copenhagen, Copenhagen, Copenhagen cabbage, and then this row of beets is the Detroit dark red. I started these a long time ago, and I've only gotten one, two, three sprouts, so I just seed it again. Um, I think I had too much mulchy kind of stuff in there and didn't keep it watered enough. Then I have another row of cabbage, and this is the uh, purple cabbage, and it is doing really nice. It's so pretty, too. Um, I only got a, a sample pack of it, which are great, uh, by the way. Um, from that website I was talking about, Seeds Now, you can get 99 cent sampler packs of seeds, and usually for like the normal home garden, the sample pack is plenty. Um, but I wish I would have gotten a real pack of that kind of cabbage seeds and even their regular um, packs are very very reasonable and it's well worth it and then I have a row of radish here which like they grow really fast and then some cabbage that kind of didn't do too good um, I had too much of that mulch stuff so kind of cleaned it out and then plugged in some holes then I have some barrage um, that will self-seed and just keep growing. So, all this going on, and if I have it timed correctly, all this stuff will be out of here in plenty of time to put things in for spring. And um, I'll have to tell you how I'm going to plan to do my... Um, the crop rotation. I had tomatoes in here over the summer and peppers um, and then I planted beans all through it and you can pretty much plant anything after beans and now I have all brassicas which most cool season vegetables are a lot of them are that so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do in this section this or um, this garden for the spring but I could ramble all day about my plans and my garden so I love it all right 
Tchau.